Well, Bell County is now cracking down on students who miss school. The commissioner's court voted unanimously to appoint more people to hear truancy cases. Fox 44 Shaquille Amari, he's back in the studio after speaking to parents. Shaquille, how do they feel about this? Adam, off-camera parents say this is a step in the right direction. Many say this will keep kids off the street and keep them in class. I also spoke to one commissioner on the significance on hiring more judges. The goal for this program is to get children who are, for whatever reason, thinking that being in school is not important to them, to recognize how important it truly is. This week, Bell County appointed two new justices of the peace to handle truancy cases. One, a former JP in Colleen. Well, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, honored that they're giving me the opportunity. Currently, only one judge managed these cases. The request was from our JP precinct to Cliff Coleman to give him a little help with the truancy court. Truancy cases in Bell County have skyrocketed compared to last fall. In 2018, there were 70 cases. This year so far, nearly 170. The program has been successful. And so more schools, more high schools, particularly in KSD, have come on board now and started using the program more. So how does it work? The students are summoned to court. Uh, the high schools typically, well, the uh, truancy officers at the schools will submit them to court. Court takes them, um, puts them on a docket like anybody else that would go to court, and they talk to a judge. The judges will work part-time, paid about $30 an hour, and won't receive any benefits. What we don't want to do is have a, a child that needs to be in truancy court have their case pushed back three months. We need to get them talked to right now. If they're missing school, we don't want them to miss for three months and have these issues. Judge Garland is expected to begin his position Thursday. The position is expected to last until May of next year. Live in the studio, Shaquille Omari, Fox 44 News.